one in. This makes it the second time he is taking the uh, oath of parliament after the Supreme Court earlier annulled his initial election. This subsequently led to the Asin North uh, by-election in which he won by some 57 percent over the New Patriotic Party's Charles Opoku. So on your shot now, or on your screens now, you see the Speaker of Parliament and the MP-elect taking the oath of um, uh, membership of being a member of Parliament where he will be uh, taking that seat shortly. So let's listen in and then we'll come back to some conversations about it. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana to the Republic of Ghana as the law established as the law established that I will uphold that the sovereignty and integrity of Ghana that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of Ghana and that I will preserve and that I will preserve, protect, protect, and defend the Constitution and the Republic of Ghana. And defend the Constitution and the Republic of Ghana. So help me God. So help me God. We now take the oath of a member of Parliament. I, I, James. Question. Having been elected a member of parliament, having been elected a member of parliament, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana, to the Republic of Ghana, as by law established, as by law established, that I will uphold. That I will uphold, preserve, preserve, protect, protect, and defend the constitution of the Republic of Ghana, and defend the constitution of the Republic of Ghana, and that, and that, I will faithfully and conscientiously, I will faithfully and conscientiously discharge the duties of the member of parliament. Discharge the duties of member of parliament. So help me God. So help me God. Yeah.